Hello, I am Neeraj. Today I will explain a very interesting topic related to multi-agent system that is hypergraph supported multi-agent system. And I will explain the entire scenario with the help of an interesting SaaS application. I will also explain that why the traditional graph based multi-agent system, tree based multi-agent system and Sequential multi-agent system fails to achieve the growing requirement of the current business scenarios. So let us start. We have the current agentic AI system struggles. In the tree style agents, what we do? We generally map the agents like this. We can also map like uh, We can plan according to our business requirement. We can fix the agents. But what are the issues here? Now, suppose agent C will take decision if it gets some input from agent B also and some information about agent G also. In that case, this scenario is not possible in tree style agents because in tree style agents, the information will flow like this only means it will follow the branch structure like this like how we can traverse in a tree so such type of structures are possible so in that case such type of interactions are not possible in tree so people move towards the graph so in the graph it is possible like we can map C D we can manage any kind of relations between them like any kind of relations it is possible based on some conditions based on some conditions it can interact with this based on some condition it can interact with this so such things are possible in this graph but still this graph of agents face a lot of issues here we have uh, just pointed some uh, issues so first thing is like all the real incident and changes are not pairwise linked it is a combination of many entities at once. First, this is a very important thing. But in the plain graph, what we happen, what happens? Like here, we can see the entire events into multiple pairwise edges, like A to D, A to D, B to D kind of things. Agents generally sees the local pieces, like how this is affected by this and this kind of thing. Not full scenario. It cannot see the full scenario at one time. This is very important. I will explain through example also that why this is important. And system also is such over a huge combinations. So huge combinations means you can say that okay, in the case of some events, this combination will work. In some cases, a to D to E to C, this will combination will work. So, so many possible combinations are there and it will make the system highly confused. So, now let us uh, go into more deeper in graph basis hyper graph. So, the very basic and uh, a layman kind of example is market basket analysis. In the market basket analysis, we generally store the sales patterns of the products. For example, people say purchase a bread, then butter, then jam, then sauce. So once people purchase bread, they seems to purchase such kind of things. So this is the selling pattern. Similarly, there may be some another selling patterns. So this is bread, this is butter. Now, if you use the graph based relations, how you will manage these relations? Because people are purchasing this at one place. So, we see this bread, butter, jam, sauce kind of patterns as a unique pattern. But graph will create equations like bread to butter, butter to jam, bread to butter, butter to jam, jam to sauce, then sauce to jam, sauce to butter, sauce to bread. There will be so many edges and nodes. Still, if you have two more such kind of relations, 
the entire graph will be too complex to explain any scenario that helps to understand the entire purchasing incidents like bread, butter, jam, sauce because this is one incident and this is one pattern which reflects one kind of sales pattern. There may be another sales pattern. There may be another one sales patterns. So graph generally fails because it sees in the A to B or pairwise kind of connections. It fails to see the overall picture. So this is the problem. Here I have taken some another example also. Graph is like your phone call log. One call connects two people to represent a group conversation among A, B, C, D like a WhatsApp group. You will according to the graph you will need A to B, A to C, B to C, C to D so many things but you will lose the fact that this was one single group conversation like happens in the WhatsApp group. So, but hypergraph is like capturing this WhatsApp group scenario. So, one group directly connects to many one. So, one WhatsApp group is there. It is, uh, so multiple members will be there. There will be a group name. There will be a topic and there will be a history of discussion. So, you can attach all those things through a and hyper age. So that's why hyper age can effectively capture such kind of scenarios. Now let us try to understand that how hyper graph based scenario helps in real applications. So suppose we have a very interesting SaaS applications and these applications provide variety of e-commerce services to different different geographical regions like US regions, EU regions, APRC region and so many other regions and all these scenarios have multiple services like checkout, payments, recommendations like you can see that e-commerce plus other services like you can directly selling the things. Multiple matrices like latency, errors, revenues, infra components. Some places you will store the data into DB cluster, some places queue, some places cache, regions. You may have a different geographical regions, features, feature flags or experiments like new pricing, AB test, or some sales or such kind of things that you can insert here based on the seasonality. Multiple teams. To handle all those things, you will have multiple teams like checkout, payment, infra, SRE, so many things will be there. So you can see that if you go through the graph based system, how complex the graph will be and how many dependency scenarios will be there. So in that kind of scenarios, we need a system which can see every relations from every other things as a single unit which can see the globally that what is happening that's why we need a hyper graph based system so now let us consider that some issues happen at EU region that a system generated alert okay check out slow payment error up new pricing is on like so many alerts are there risk they said that okay revenue below target latency SLA breach so many scenarios are coming, then what you will do in the current incident response system like graph based system, what you will do? You will, SREs will jump between tools. Some scenarios will be like the managers will talk, start talking with different different teams. Pricing team, pricing team will start uh, contacting with different different pricing teams. So if you manage this way of handling graph edges like A to B, B to C, C to D like we generally handle in a graph. So if this way you try to handle, you will get a lot of relations, paths, sequences 
and it may totally confuse your system so that's why we need hypergraph supported system so we can conclude with this example a graph can tell you who talks to who but a hypergraph can tell you who is in the same conversation like i discussed here so in such kind of incidents only hypergraph can give the entire scenario in one group one hyper edge means it will give all the relations in under one hyper edge so you can see the things globally just to go through the another example so suppose you take the analogy like uh, some example of fly to versus complete rate so when you use the graph it will show the entire scenarios like flight between cities and it will create the complete map that flight is going like this and this and this and this and this like this it will create the map but hypergraph one edge will represent your entire multi city trip like home plus city a plus city b to back back to home so this is the hyper edge this way you will be capable to see what is happening more effectively so the hypergraph makes your whole journey a first class object so this is the thing but here it is like a connection between city like jump here to here here to here here to here like this